the sound of applause. So yes, today is our first face-to-face -face gathering for a select few, but I'm going to start with a question. Have you or are you ready to dance where no one else has? Again, today is extra special, not only because after two years we're finally in a face-to-face -face event in a great venue, gathering by Chelle, no less. It is Ballet Philippines way of stepping out once again. In preparation for today, for months actually, patrons of the performance arts and fans, of course, of Ballet Philippines, they've been asking, check out the social platforms of Ballet Philippines. Check out the comment section. When will you be back yeah. on stage, right? When will the performances be back? So everyone can relate. So, when Ballet Philippines began planning, their 53rd season, they said, let's not just go back on stage. They decided, let's dance where no one else has. And I, like I said, that's the year's theme. Bali Philippines already chose our ideal venue, like I said, being here in Gallery by Chef Chere, to introduce our season's lineup. But there's so much more in store. So first off, how can you miss those golden pictures on exhibit today? Shot by no one other than John Vidagal, right there. there. She's going to have a moment also inside there. I'll acknowledge you again there, John. So this is just a prelude of what the 53rd season is going to bring you. And we don't want you to just look at those photos. We want you to immerse yourselves in those photos. Like, take a moment later on while you're sipping in your proclamation gin drink, which is super refreshing. It's got mushroom in that. Can you taste it? It's one of the most refreshing drinks. And it gives you a little hit, just a little, to start off the day. So immerse yourself in these amazing photographs and see where it takes you, right? Can so, we take it home? You can take it home, unfortunately. Talk to my mind like this. Okay. So, so with that, yes, if you haven't taken it yet, let's see how the feelings inside you by watching or immersing yourselves in these photos will take you to dance where no one else has. Meanwhile, please post online. I've been seeing your cell phones up, taking a video of me, but don't tag me. Tag Ballet Philippines and two hashtags BP53Season, that's BP53Season, and hashtag dance where no one else has. So that's two official hashtags. So, enough of me. I already put her on the spot. If you want one of the paintings, ask this lady. Ballet Philippines President, Kathleen, my my, left side. Thank you so much, Lisa. What a pleasure to hear those things. Thank you. And a wonderful afternoon. So we are where we want to be. And this is the opening of the 53rd season of Ballet Philippines. So, let's just go back a little bit. After we've gone through our digital migration, we did migrate to, to BP on stream, Ballet.ph, and had those wonderful master, master and the superstars of the ballet world with us, we want to continue we want to continue with that spirit of adventure, of being different. And so we thought, we thought long and hard, and thank you very much my PR and my marketing arm, we thought, hmm, Bali Philippines is going to somewhere, somewhere that nobody has danced before, beyond dancing, as Chris would say. Uh, where's Chris? Yes, here he is. Says, hmm, you want to go beyond dancing? Yes, we do. But as Isa has said, we do not just, it does not pertain just to destination and location. Although, watch out, there's a very big possibilities that we will take you there. 
However, we're talking really about the new mindset. And that is collaborations, collaborations with like-minded people and institutions, as well as empowering, empowerment, empowering dancers, empowering the entire creative community and industry. That's what we aim for. And we're here today to start already what we're talking about. Let's not just be cheap with talk. So today we are right now showing you where Joan brought us. We went to Okada. And uh, just one thing with Louise. Louise uh, styled everything. I just told Louise, Louise uh, Spirito, I said, just make sure that everything that we looked, we look into, will bring us to where we haven't had been before. And that's, I hope it's giving you that. It's giving you that kind of, of, of adventure and daring. And, and uh, we also thought, we also were talking about life after the pandemic. And that is really about being with the audience. And I believe this is going to be our first ever performance with a live audience, with a live audience. And Martin, our dear Martin, Martin Yu, our artistic director himself, has prepared a very special dance, not just to preview what we have in store for you, but also to show to you the bolder, the daring, the more beautiful, and the more, 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 more everything that is Ballet Philippines. So watch out. We're going to have a gala uh, in September. We're going to have a gala in September. And that already is in the works. I've seen it. It brings tears to your ear, to your to your eyes when you have when you, you see it. Then we're going to have a magical Christmas with Mac Crocker as our celebration for Christmas. And to close the season in March, we're going to have an epic Filipiniana world premiere of something we're cooking for you. Watch out for those, guys. Meantime, as Nisha said, this creation means a lot. It is what Ballet Philippines is going to be next few months that you'll see. So, I am very, very proud and very happy to introduce to you, to call on our dearest Misha, Artistic Director, and our Bali Philippines core dancer, Jemima Reyes.
everybody. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. We have a special connection with Ballet Philippines. So um, the only thing I can say is uh, this, this is a good with a war heart. It's a small, uh, refreshing uh, menu for lunch. And well, uh, everything that we do here is trying to always to highlight whatever is surrounding us in the Philippines. Um, and you know, so the majority of the ingredients we use is from different local farmers. So please, you know, enjoy your lunch and thank you very much to share today here in the Channel. Thank you. Round of applause again, Chef Thank you. Looking forward to what you prepared for us. Now before, please do dig in everybody, that's just the first course, your appetizers. But while we're already here, and I have your attention, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of our Ballet Philippines board members. Attorney Lorna, come here. Just give us a wave please, hello. Dr. Joven Kuana. Oh, he's outside. Dr. Joven. Okay, I think he stepped outside. We'll say hi in a bit. Bernadette, Bernie, Aboitiz. And Amanda, Isabel Luyip. For our special season lunch, we're also joined by, of course, the chairperson of the Board of Trustees of the Cultural Center of the Philippines, Margarita Margie Moran. Moran. Okay, formal part over, dig in, bon appetit. Enjoy. Thank you so much for your great comments about our exhibit. And for those that want to buy them, we've actually had some uh, offers to buy them. Thank you so much. What can I say? Wow. <laughs> However, very much not yet. Not yet because now I'm giving you a secret. We're going to have, uh, you're going to exhibit much more uh, in September during our gala. So, uh, and hopefully you are able to get, uh, to have the auction there. And for those that offered already, the, those three uh, buyers, yes, those are yours. <laughs> Let us borrow them first. Okay, thank you so much. Enjoy each other's special menu for Bali for the house. Our artistic director, ladies and gentlemen from Ballet Philippines, Misha Martinuk. My name is Mikhail Martinuk. But everyone called me Misha. One funny fact, Misha in Russian means bear. Bear? Polar bear or brown bear, I don't know. But it's Misha. Allow me to share with you my Bali story briefly. I started to learn uh, Bali when I was four years old. It's a long, long time ago. My first award I have uh, at six from a regional competition. Six years old? Six years old, yeah. For eight years I'm studying in Perm Ballet School Academy. After my graduation, uh, legendary Russian ballerina Ekaterina Maximova invited me to join a soloist to Kremlin Ballet Theater. After 19 years working, I have a lot of theatrical and uh, state awards. And then I have a main title in my life, uh, Honor Artist of Russia, of course. After having 40 principal roles around the world, visiting 56 countries. It's uh, have a uh, gala, per full performances, summits, G7, G20, uh, a lot of, lot of time on the stage. Working with 
famous and legendary artist. I have a very, very big experience. But most famous happened with me when my daughter was born here in Manila five years ago. After that, my family start to call Philippines our second home. And then, I want to speak a little bit about 53rd season. I'm just reading. Sorry. Of course, uh, I look forward to going back on stage. Uh, every dancer knows the importance of getting back on his element and to its audience. I'm also excited to have the opportunity to create more production for the company. Now, we are doing a great job restoring our body and spirit to discover a new image. Uh, it's standard process. We engage ourselves into doing classes and uh, rehearsal every day. This process might be very complex, uh, not always, but it's really important for the dancers. The, uh, the line up uh, we will offer you. I didn't think of it. I'm played every time all the performance in my head. I'm visualizing I have uh, to understand how many artists I have and also think of all the possible situations that are more relevant today. After a long break, dancers and viewer head, do we stick to only classical or only modern dance? Uh, what nuance and difficult a way us to bring all the performance to life? And when I complete whole puzzle in uh, my mind, I decided that it will be exactly and the performances we will see on the stage. And last one. Expect 53rd season. 53rd season. Thank you. I'm happy to correction every day because I'm learning. <laughs> 53rd season. With emotion, new discovery, new talented dancers on the stage. Wish you will all love. And then, of course, new performances. Dance through time, echoes, new classical version, Bolero and Pajita, it's September. Also, symbol of Christmas, Nutcracker. And lastly, of course, Filipino story, Rizal. We have a Rizal in uh, March, I think in March, yeah? This season we will dance where no one else has. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bravo, bravo. Thank you so much, Michelle. How about from one distinguished gentleman to another? This time, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're really all looking forward to watching the performances this 53rd season, especially after hearing from Misha. But from special performances, it's really all about celebrating boundless creative energy. And with that, it's actually an amazing collaboration. Ballet Philippines truly is ready to give you that mindset to dance where no one else has. Now let's focus on fashion. And who best to talk about it than FDCP President JC Buendia. <laughs> to be working with Ballet Philippines. This makes me nostalgic as um, I remember I was uh, a scrawny boy seated in the dark um, in, in the darkness of CCP watching my first ballet which was uh, the Nutcracker and 
ever since um, it has inspired me to design. And um, so this comes at a very um, <laughs> at a very um, um, th th this is very timely because um, now we're going back to uh, normalcy and um, it would be nice to start weaving our dreams again. Thank you. And on a final note, dessert is about to be served and you all get Bizu boxes. Gifts from Bizu. Here you go. My Maya leading in with these huge boxes from Bizu. Everybody gets to take one home. But while we're all still enjoying our gathering today, please make sure that everyone's inspired to dance where no one else has. So as much as we created these special prizes, these special tokens for all of you, this is what we call the Ballet Philippines Experience Bag. So take it home and enjoy. They're actually huge boxes. And we really do appreciate your presence here. It's quite an intimate event. And everyone who gathered with us today is much highly appreciated. Finally, do not forget our hashtags, please. If you haven't claimed your prizes yet for the second raffle draw, please claim them at the reception area. But in the meantime, don't forget to tag Ballet Philippines and the hashtags BP53Season and Dance Where No One Else Has in your online posts. My name is Isa Little, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming to the launch of Ballet Philippines 53rd Season. Enjoy your dessert and the rest of the day.